not take two <laughs> as we tried to play this the right way <laughs> um or full disclosure all. or at all yeah we we definitely i i i get rules wrong all the time full disclosure i get rules wrong all the time um this will be no exception even though we've had some clarification on this game i expect we'll still make mistakes because we do with every game we play that's just how it is this is not a tutorial this is just a let's play a game have some fun and hopefully you guys find it interesting enough to maybe want to pick up the game and try it yourself um we'll get the rules as close to as we can Thank but toby and toby's here so we, we have to have the, the cat rear end on the screen for just a little while there you go buddy yep there you go okay off thank you thank you you know what that's okay i'm willing to deal with that you can sleep over there so now we have cat tail on. there is a tail on the screen but it's a little bit it's less better instructive than, than him sitting on the board mm -hmm. um but yeah so we've we looked online on board game geek those of you who do not know about board game geek if there's anybody out there who plays board games who doesn't know about that website it's a great site and there's a lot of players that um clarify rules for folks like me <laughs> um or if the rules aren't particularly clear um and this game is an interesting interesting game but i think it's very complex it's tough to make a rule book for it and um there was a gentleman who reorganized it and just made it a lot more easy to understand and so i was i really wish i had remembered to write his name down um i doubt he's watching this he's going to be watching this video when i post it on youtube but uh thanks no. to him uh we're able to try this again give this game it's a fair shot um did he just try to eat your mashed potatoes yeah he was sniffing them quite heavily oh mm -hmm. uh, that's weird that's a vegetable toby that's not even like real food to you well, it has, about, it has a bunch of gravy in it, so it's probably... Yeah, that's true. All right, you could you can get off the table now. Come on, go this way. Keep going. Further steps are required. I could, but I don't want to. There you go, buddy. Thanks. All right, so you messed up our monster pal. What a jerk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play He's again. Like, I'm the um, monster. <laughs> Ashley's not here this week, so she unfortunately doesn't get a chance to to try this game again but we do have a game here and he was missing it out on it last time so Ooh. it's like they shared it it's true <laughs> are you playing you're not playing the character she was playing i'm not playing the character she was playing um, it's still so mystic gonna, though it is still mm -hmm. mystic that's a good point uh so we are going to play scenario one again we're going to try scenario one to see if we can get to the end of it if we die that's a legit reason not to get to the end of it um then that is entirely possible in this game very challenging game um and it's a very fun game so for those of you who didn't watch this two weeks ago when we tried it it is Call of Cthulhu, um, the characters are steampunk characters or steampunk adventurers um, going up against the the really fun uh, elder things. They're not all gods. Some of them are. Um, <laughs> but we're dealing with that. You know, H.P. Lovecraft's birthday is coming up, so we're going to be probably be playing quite a few of these types of games <laughs> in the coming weeks, I think. Um, we'll probably be doing that. So this is the first one. And we're going to real quick go over our characters. Um so folks will know what we're playing i'm playing the same character i was playing before um okay i'll start with mine we'll just go around the table um so i am playing a crafter named mackenzie wallen um her she can go up to five essence so she, that's pretty good um and she's got pretty good health and stamina to start with terrible terrible willpower and armor though um and her attack types are arcane attack types which means when monsters defend against her they have to use their willpower it's kind of interesting. It's a battle of wills. Me versus insanity. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So her background story. Um, Mackenzie grew up poor, malnourished, and at age eight, orphaned. Happy times for Mackenzie. Oh, um, roaming the streets and living off scraps, she was an easy target for other children who berated her appearance, status, and frailty. She was no doormat and often found up, found, wound up in a fight she always lost. <laughs> Intelligent, Mac eventually discovered an aptitude for mechanics and began working on odd jobs fixing devices. At some point she met a kindred soul who longed to be strong and healthy. They agreed that she would fabricate him gear to enhance him and he would in turn protect her. It all seemed to be going well until one night her friend killed no less than ten people. He told her it was justice. She realized he might well be insane. Frightened for both of them, she convinced him that they needed to leave until she could figure out what to do. Finding a way out, she volunteered them both for this expedition. So apparently he's around, I yes. guess. But that's her. Alright. So, I have Lavinia Young, Mystic. Um, she has an arcane attack, which is always helpful. 
And she also has the ability to activate event uh, events or recharge spaces um, from a distance. Nice. That's cool. Whoa. That um, nice. <laughs> and um, I don't remember what all of the symbols mean, but she has quite a bit of stamina, I believe. Uh, yeah, stamina, she has which, max stamina, health yeah, of four. four um, Her willpower is good. It's yeah. average, so three. Not yeah. so great armor. That's mm -hmm. why we have that. Yeah. Um, and her max essence is also five, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, l the background for Lavinia is that Lavinia's nomadic family of card readers and soothsayers groomed her from birth as the prophet savior, a being who would save mankind and destroy the coming evil. As her family traveled, they presented her um, to all as a queen among her people. She grew demanding, reveling in the power and entitlement of her position. Prophecy believed in her, however. As she reached adulthood, visions plagued her. Dreams of a blue comet and the deaths of millions began to haunt her. Jeez. She tried to shrug them off, but they grew to trouble her, even her waking hours. Soon, faces and names of dead people danced before her, and she became convinced that it, the expedition would fail if she did not participate. Uh, saying goodbye to her life of comfort, she joined the other explorers determined to fill her destiny, fulfill her destiny. Wow. I forgot to mention my power. Let me just do that real quick. Uh, when I gain treasure, I can equip one item for one stamina instead of having to follow through with the three stamina for everything and do a quest. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I still have a bruiser, but I have Michelle Motter this time. She has uh, two stamina melee attack, just like anything. But nice. her attack is one die and I can reduce armor by one for this round. Love that. For a max of two. And adjacent explorers have armor increased by one. Awesome. So, yeah, I have, th I have three armor and two willpower and five yeah. health and six stamina. I only have up to four essence, though, but... Mm. Yeah. Still pretty good. I'm going to be... Yeah. Uh, my background is um, Michelle is the daughter of two doctors. Michelle spent her whole life surrounded by science and rational thought. Her genteel disposition was only occasionally marred by her quick temper. All that changed the night her parents became victims of the unspeakable. As Michelle watched in horror, a creature she could barely fathom devoured her mother and father, leaving no trace they ever existed. Hmm. Michelle's rational mind has coped with this by steadfastly denying it. <laughs> her parents were kidnapped, and she has devoted her life to finding them and hunting down their abductor. Her compassion gone, she deals with life challenges with violence first and questions later, if ever. <laughs> The mystical has no place in her thoughts, which gives her surprising mental strength. <laughs> Where others see horrors to warp her soul, Michelle's mind simply refuses to acknowledge them, reflexively <laughs> offering logical explanations for the most supernatural occurrences. That's awesome. So which is questions. weird because my willpower is two. How is that strong? It, well, because you're just denying. You're not actually facing it. If, you're, if you have willpower, you're facing something... It says she had a surprising mental strength. <laughs> I have a whole mental strength in both of you. <laughs> well, actually, I tie with you. You tie with me. Wow. That's funny, though. It yeah. is funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> so as we play this, um, this looks like a really small board. It's it's not. It's kind of a modular. Um, so think Mice and Mystics type of deal. So we have these kind of 4 by 4s We can have up to four of these. So eventually it might get to the point where our character boards are more difficult to see because we're going to have to move them out of the way. Just be aware of that um, as we play, um, that this area will, will be larger. It's not just the teeniest game ever made. Um, <laughs> it's it's uh, actually really cool. There's a lot of boards. They're all double-sided. So the game, like this is a different, I think this is a different starting board than the one we had. We had staircases mm -hmm. on the side when we played before. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like a little maze and there's no traps. I don't see any traps. Yeah, I don't see traps. Which could be good or bad, because we mm -hmm. can't activate them, because monsters get hurt by traps, too. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to read the first part of our scenario so we can figure out what we're dealing with. Scenario one, horror in the ice. Mm -hmm. I like these pictures because they kind of have something to do with the text that um, that we're reading on the other side. So like as you go, like this will show what's coming up, which I think is really neat. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so chapter one, part one, the entrance. Uh, as we stepped into the dark, an uncanny gust of wind followed us in, continuing on through the wide and spacious halls, echoing incessantly. Our eyes still blinking from the polar glare adapted at last, and we could see our surroundings. There was scant light, yet enough for us to discover ancient and complex corridors, 
Halls and rooms built by unknown hands, eons ago, perhaps. What craft erected these delicate walls, exquisite pillars that rise above the precisely detailed grid of stone slabs beneath our feet? The whole space seemed to pulsate to a strange rhythm, faint and indistinct. As we embarked on our exploration of these subterranean rooms, the feeling of disquiet only continued to grow. The further we ventured in, the more it appeared that in some bizarre way the place itself became aware of our presence, and we seemed alone no longer. Now granted, then we're supposed to place the entry token, but I knew we had to, so I did it already. <laughs> so technically I cheated. Um, so to, to move the chapter along in this one, there's no specific requirements, which means all we have to do is like this. Um, there's a couple ways we can do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those who have not played this game before, we can choose to go directly there after we gain some essence because we need that first. And we can spend three stamina and three essence to light it up, and then we'll put an exploration token there. Uh, that will move the chapter. Um, and the neat thing is it happens immediately. We don't have to... Oh, playing board games is following us now. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we can do it that way, and we can help each other by being adjacent and that mm -hmm. sort of thing, uh, which is a really cool... Um, a uh, cool mechanic in this game. I wish more games had something like that. Um, we can also seal monster spawns, and if we do that, we'll get an actual light token will be placed there. You don't have to use your own explorer token to do that. Um, and uh, it will only cost three stamina instead of three stamina and three essence. So we can do it two different ways. Uh, but in order to close a, a monster spawn, it costs four essence. Okay. So, um, but there's, there's a number of different ways that we can do it. Um, and monsters will appear and we'll be fighting them. That's another thing we can do to mess things up for the monsters. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing we get to do is our turns. We get to move around and, and take some actions, and we can do this in any order. Do we want to roll off just to kind of make it random for the first round, or do we have, because we don't really have a plan yet, um, <laughs> or do does somebody specifically want to go first? It's up to you guys. I am open to anything. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, if, if you guys want to, well... If you guys want to move further away from the spawns, mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. take a closer space because, well, I don't know. Unless you guys want to stick with me and get the extra armor from me. Mm -hmm. For now, I think if you just we, we just get out of here and yeah. You know. The thing that's kind of tough is like we do need to use some of those treasure spaces mm -hmm. because we need the essence. Mm -hmm. Well, so but do you want to take the closer there one? Spaces. Well, there's one right there too. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, there's two here, but there's also two there. And there's no wall on top of the first one, right? So if I wanted to go adjacent, yeah, I could yeah. go one, yeah, cause, yeah. two, three. I could go down here and activate this one, mm -hmm. and you could still activate the top one. Um, I don't think you just get straight essence from anything else up here. Like, these are events that could give you essence, um, but the next place to get essence is down here. Um, because I don't think the workbench gives you essence, it just gives you treasure, which is very useful. Um, so that's another way. Uh, how many workbenches do we have today? One. Yeah, just the one workbench. We get cards, and we get four treasure. Yeah, the workbench does not give you, I know it costs three stamina to activate it, but it doesn't give you, um, does not give you essence. It doesn't have to be. No, because the difference is it gives you four items to choose from instead of just two. Uh -huh. So you get the benefit of drawing four items, um, and and then you get to... M. Hyde is following us now, too. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Um, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Aegean TR? <laughs> it might be Aegean TR? Mm -hmm. E-G-I-A-N? I can't read, obviously. I'm going to say E-G-N-T-R. Mm -hmm. um, would like to know what is the game name. This game is called Machina Arcana. Uh, it was a Kickstarter game uh, from a couple years ago. And, uh, well, it's a little bit blurry yeah, on screen. Yeah, I know. It's hard um, to <laughs> uh, they can see the, 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 the something in a diamond. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, uh, but it was a Kickstarter game from a couple years ago. I've been wanting to play this forever, uh, but for a while I only had, like... Uh, Oh, wow, we're being hosted by Playing Board Games. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Um, this is a, um, a four-player game, and I don't think he had any like like rules adaptations for multiple players yet. So for a while, I couldn't play it because I always had six players. So now yeah. that we're pretty much always consistently four, I was like, yeah. this has to come to the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a bit dark, but I've kind of hopefully this is viewable enough for you guys. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so we've got the one workbench. We've got the treasure. It might be worth it for us all to kind of work our way to a treasure first just so we can get some essence. Yeah. 
Um, and I mean, somebody could run straight to here with all their stamina, that's and true. then they'll be right there, and they can use it, and then be right there. Yep, and we can do that. And don't forget, we're going to be able to get our tokens mm -hmm. back, so we don't necessarily have to light it up the first try. We can build mm -hmm. up some essence. These mm -hmm. treasure errors are going to free up each turn. It's just yeah. they're only going to be unavailable one turn. I'm wondering if you want me to move, because I can take two stamina, move up to, and then activate the event space, because that's what the cards are, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, they could activate the events. And most events distance. are beneficial. The horror events aren't, but the player events usually are. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes they require you to spend some of the essence that you get to get a different benefit. Oh, but see. if you don't have any essence, that's okay. Well, mm -hmm. it won't, you don't go negative. So do you want to do the event space? Beth and I can start these two treasure areas. Then he could always use the workbench afterwards. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Is it down. the same with the workbench? You, you take one and you put the other three away? It's it's sort of or like do you that get because you're going to actually have to destroy like two I oh, the workbench. Yeah. Um, let me double check. But you can still put one on top. Okay. Uh, with the workbench, you, you draw the four top treasure cards. Um, you can swap any of those cards with cards from your inventory or equipped items. That's one of the benefits. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, you're only still doing one of those cards, but mm -hmm. instead of having to spend a stamina to equip it, you're equipping it at the workbench. Mm -hmm. So right. you just trade it out. Um, and then that card that you have becomes available to another player. Okay. Um, so that's another benefit of using the workbench as opposed to taking an inventory action. Um, and then you can you can choose to take one of those cards and give it to an adjacent explorer instead of keeping it for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you do is you destroy any number of the cards and then place the remaining ones on top of the treasure in any order. So you don't have and, to destroy them. Yes, and then and then you also have the opportunity to use your your inventory as well. So if you still okay. want to spend the three stamina to upgrade equipment, move equipment around, unequip stuff, you can still do that. Uh, but you don't have to, because you can, if you just want to swap, you can just swap. Um, and uh, then you place the explored token on the workbench, because it will not be available until the start of your next turn. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so there's some there's some good benefits to it. And you yeah. can choose, like, maybe some of the items that we pull out aren't that good, and you want to destroy all of them, you can do that mm -hmm. if you want to. You don't have to put them back on top. Yeah. The so. problem is, yeah, they just... It's just irritating because we don't get the chance to get them back ever. Yeah, but you, there's like a lot more treasure that when there's that's the level two treasure that oh, gets added, okay. and then when we go up higher and we add the level three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the nice thing yeah. about this is, unlike the monsters where you shuffle the discarded stuff back into the deck and they can come back, you can cycle through the lower level treasure much more quickly and get the higher good stuff. Yeah. Um, because you're not dealing with that discard pile so it's mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of negative because you might throw something away that you wanted earlier and then that you wanted but you couldn't use mm -hmm. right but you could potentially get something better hmm. like there's some fun stuff look at that lovely gun it's mm -hmm. just nice it's also very tiny on screen Woo! it's bigger now um <laughs> oh, automatic rifle and steampunk that's dangerous mm. <laughs> all right so um, yeah, I'm going to put these. Actually, I probably should put these towards you, right? Because they're top. So let me give you, that's the uh, level twos. There's not very many level threes, but there's enough for us to play around with. Um, okay, so, all right, I'll get out of your way first, and I'll work my way down to there. And I think to activate a treasure chest, I don't think it costs stamina. You just gain the essence. Let me double check. It's been two weeks. Oh, no, played, you do. But I think you still have to... Uh, oh, yep, three stamina. You have to interact with anything. Um, oh, but then you, okay, then you drop, then you get the essence. Okay. Uh, so do I have enough to get down there? Can I get down there in so three? One, two, three. Yeah, because you only have to be adjacent. Mm -hmm. And you can move adjacently through here. So I can go one, two, three. Well, if you move one, two, three, you're on top of it. That's okay. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to... If you move... I can move to here, too, and still activate it. Cause you, you can activate right. it I, I just Yeah, I just trying to see how you... Because if it spawns, it's going to spawn here if something spawns. I just want, I don't want it to yeah, be got an open door too right from here. you. Yeah, I just don't want, that's an open door? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I can walk right through that. These okay. are always open unless we get to close. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. So I can walk right through that. So, one, so if I have to, I'd be like, two, yeah. three. Yep, that works. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to spend the other two. I'm going to go to zero here. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I will draw two treasure cards. Whoops, wow, that's like a disco treasure card. Look at that spin. Um, I will place an explored token. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can choose between prismatic lenses. Explorers can target ethereal units this round mm. for the cost of one essence. Mm, it yeah. says explorers, so it might be everybody. Or I can choose the barbed whip. I'm going to take that because my attack is terrible. Um, but it lets me have one black die, and because the black die has more pips, mm -hmm. and one white die in addition to my regular attack. 
Oh, no, sorry. This is its own attack. You use yeah. either that or your base attack. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, but it has a range of two. Uh, and it reduces the attack rolls by one that round up to two times. Um, and I can, or I can just pull a unit one space towards me if I want to. Um, hmm. Which I can do that with a friendly, or I can do that uh, if I want to pull something to a pit or into the exploding barrel or something. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think I'll take the whip. Now, do you guys think it is worth it to place this at the top, or do we feel that this is not so great and we can put it in the discard pile um, and see what else comes up later? It's definitely something that would be useful later when we get ethereal monsters, but right mm -hmm. now, having, to blow, more of this having kind of to blow an essence to use that is not going okay. to be when... You got me sold. I will put that in the discard pile. Uh, okay, so my turn is over. Who wants to go next? Did I do one? No, because, yeah. Well, yeah, you move right in there. It's only two. Well, technically it's one. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yep. I was gonna say so you got to open it and then you can move if you want. You could technically... Four. Okay, you can, don't have enough. I was thinking you might be able to activate an event too, but... I don't yeah. think you can. Yeah, because that's one. And then one, two, three. Ah! Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> a little. <laughs> I can pick it up for you. Okay. So, oh, I have a tactical manual, which means I can place a barrier token anywhere within the map tile. And Ooh. there is no stamina cost to activate traps or doors. Hmm. Or I could use a bouncing hurl bat. Which is sounds fun, whatever it mm, is. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's it's a little it's a little throwing dagger. It's a throwing uh, uh, axe. Yeah, <laughs> That's a and really it thing. has. It really does. <laughs> okay. It has. It's a ranged attack with one and one. Oh. Or it's an attack one and one, and on a hit, it returns equipped. Um, so what does that little X mean? Because it has a little X and an arrow. Oh, Again, I, um, I, I, I know that we mean something, but I don't does. remember <laughs> what that is. Uh, is that the place? Nope, it means that after you resolve the ability, you drop the item on the target space. So essentially this will fall. Basically, you're throwing the axe. Yep. Yeah, so basically... So if you use that, but you attack... If I hit. If you yeah. hit. If, if I you hit. miss, it falls to where it is. Mm -hmm. um, but if you hit, it comes back. Yes. Equipped. What really sucks, though, is if you use all your explorer tokens and mm -hmm. you don't have an explorer token to put down where it lands, it's destroyed instead. You always have to have an explorer token to be able to drop something without destroying it. Um, that does. It's easier now because we can get them back more quickly. Just be aware of that. If you're going to throw it, don't throw it if you, only have, if you don't have any tokens. Because you're risk, unless you really need to do the risk. Uh -huh. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, but yeah, that's not bad. Range three, uh -huh. uh, and still does the same damage when you throw it. Yeah, that's not bad at all. They're both really good items. Yeah, the only the problem I see with this is my natural ability allows me to reduce armor. That's true. So if I use this instead, I don't. I don't think I could do both. No. To get the, I no. mean, cause I, if, if I had enough stamina, could I use this to, to reduce armor? Or is it basically, I mean, it's, it's basically part of the whole attack. I'm, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, what I'm hitting them with, it's lowering. Correct. Mm -hmm. Which is irritating. So You could always throw the axe during your turn to see if you can get them. And if he gets closer to your next turn because you didn't kill him, then you can use your melee and lower his armor. Mm -hmm. It gives you options. It yes. gives you ranged and melee, mm -hmm. which, depending on what you're fighting, could mm -hmm. be a good thing. Mm -hmm. But the book's really good, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being able to place a barrier token anywhere is nice. Plus, having... Well, the only problem is, it also has the it also has an X. So, it's a one... A, that's, like, it, right? Yeah, that's a one-time use. That's the one-time use. It has the X-Men symbol. Yeah. Uh, yep, you destroy it after you use its activation. So, that's not the best. No. 
I mean, I'm, I'm... Although, that's to use this. Here's the thing. This other part on the bottom is yeah. ongoing no matter what. You don't lose yeah. it when you use this. So, no stamina cost to activate traps or doors. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's not such a big deal because there's no traps on this mm -hmm. map. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about activating doors unless you want to put a closed door token there, mm -hmm. but you can yeah. without paying anything. You mm -hmm. only have to pay a stamina for that. Yeah, and that's... So, and I think traps are two stamina. Yeah. So, I'm... I, I, I want to be able to do damage. Plain and, sim plain and simple, this game, if you can't kill the monsters, we're screwed. You're in big trouble, yeah, because they beat uh, the hell out and of we, you. And we know, <laughs> with, without the option of having more than one freaking die, we're not going to be able to do it. Um, yeah, I do, okay. however, think this is actually useful. Yeah, I can always put it on the top. So And put it on the top. Yeah, because yeah. okay. if he's going to use the workbench, yeah, you, you can cycle through four. Right, you're gonna, yeah, you'll have four, you'll be able to see if there's anything decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're good with that. I mean, I don't know if he's using the workbench right away or if he's doing the event first, but... Now, you still have stamina to play I still, with. I still have stamina, yes. Oh, you need to put an explore token on the treasure chest, though, because I used that one. <clears throat> How much stamina does it take to use the workbench? Three. three. Yep. Most actions take three stamina. There's a couple that take two. Trading takes two, I think, if we trade with people mm -hmm. that are adjacent with us. Activating yeah. a door takes one. Um, activating a trap takes two. And the gears are the... Reset. Those are to reset uh, your stamina or health, and that costs one, by the way, to use those. You spend one stamina, you roll it, you might get three back, or you might get nothing, or you could get a heart. There's only one health. You only can heal for one with this die. Right. But you can get zero, two, or three uh, stamina, and there's quite a few sides that have hearts, so, well, <laughs> see? There you go. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. It does, it does give you some benefits. It's not one of those dice that are just evil. Um... <laughs> It's not too, too evil. Okay. Yeah, it's not too terribly evil. I think there's only one blank side. Yeah, there's only one blank side. So. Well. I'm then I, of course, put it down on the blank side because that's fun. <laughs> uh, I don't think. I, I think I'm just going to go straight for down here, see if I can get to that one. Okay. Oh, and we each gained an essence for activating a treasure chest. Which is what the whole purpose so. of us doing it, really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll go, I'll just do the two, that way I'm still fairly close to you. Okay. So you can get to me if you need to get adjacent mm -hmm. for help for, if we get a monster spawn coming. That works. Mm -hmm. All right, it is your turn, Ian. Are you going to the event first, or you can go mm -hmm. to adjacent to, actually if you move on to the workbench, you'll be adjacent to the event, you can activate the event, and then do the workbench. I don't need to be to. adjacent to that. Well, you need to, you'd use stamina to, to do that if you... I use stamina to activate the event either way. Oh. That's true. It's all it does is make it so I can do it from further away. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you can do you think I should there. activate the the workbench first, or do you think I should? Just... It's totally up to you. You can do either or. I mean, as long as you have enough stamina, you can probably do both. Yeah, because I mean, he's at a distance of three to both. Oh, that's right. It doesn't it doesn't does it require line of sight though? Because isn't there walls in the way? Uh, not really. So if he moves one, he should move one. I mean, th the thing is, he's here. He's in one of these spaces. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, and that's an open and, door. So you yeah, can I mean, see it's that. That's not a wall. Yeah. But what about this, is this a door. mess? This is open. Mm -hmm. That's open. Draw a yeah. line from the center of you Actually, to the center this, of the thing. Actually, this, this, mm -hmm. this is a wall. Yeah, this but does is it open. pass on the corner of the wall, his line of sight, or does mm -hmm. it pass in the middle of the wall? If it passes in the it's corner, he's, in, he's got line of sight. Technically it's not like those games where if you hit the corner, it's, you don't have line of sight. Mm -hmm. It's only if it hits the middle. So if oh, you put so them on the actual, so there's two squares on there. So put yeah. them on that one. Yeah. And then but draw a line from the center yeah. of that this, square. Yeah. This does specifically activate event or recharge space, though. So, so it has to be I, an so, so it would have to be an event. I can't, I can't yeah. use my range power to activate the, the workbench. Okay. So. Um, you can always move out of the way afterwards and work your way to the workbench after or before. Yeah. Well, it requires it. stamina to move, right? Yes. Yeah. So. You'll be one stamina short from doing the workbench and the thing, right? No, it'll be more than that if I have to move. I, I have to, because I'd have to move two. Nope. You only have to move one. You move one, and you'd be adjacent to, to it. Oh, okay. That's a one move. Then, yeah, I'd, so be, one I'd be short move. one. I'd be short one. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I would activate the event and then move two spaces so you're on this corner of the workbench so you're a little bit further away from the monsters yeah that's kind of i mean i was expect i was planning on moving to and activating anyway so good idea um so all right so let's activate the workbench not the workbench the, the, event. the event all right here we go 
I almost drew a horror event. That'd be terrible. Do you want to read it? Sure. Are you one? Cleansing ritual. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh. <laughs> no, this was a waste. Uh. Um, now is the time to test this rusty contraption. It seems it could be used to destroy the dreaded places um, whence those denizens of evil issue forth um, into our fragile well- uh, realm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> realm. Fun wage. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's give it a try. I could destroy any monster spawn. Oh, rats. That would be a great one for next turn, yep. really. Oh, that's a good card, though. Mm-hmm. Is it, like, gone? You can't yeah, it's not one of the... It doesn't have a blue thing, so oh. it's, it's literally a one-time only. So if he if he had managed to get this next turn after monsters were already out, he'd be like, go away. Yeah. Be gone, you worthless you. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. Um, well, yeah, whatever. But um, we do have to put an explore token on the mm-hmm. monster. On the monster. On the <laughs> on the monster bench. <laughs> really dumb. That's me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that counts as an, one yes. of these things, regardless? Of Anything yes. you use. Oh. Yeah. Like I said. Because it makes you choose what you're going to do, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, which is fun, uh, but you still have. You can still move. You yeah, you, s- you still have three. I'll move the two into the little alcove. There we go. You still have one left. My last stone, stone or is it better? Uh, I should probably just keep it anyway. Yeah, there's nothing. No recharges thingies nearby, so it, it, you're gonna reset to the the top anyway, mm-hmm. to your full uh, thingy. Um, Alright, so the next thing we do is potentially spawn monsters. Um, I think I went first, so I'll roll first. And the difficulty is, right now is 7. So I need to roll lower than a 7. I rolled a 5. Like but nope, now it goes down, so now it's 6. 2. Sweet. Now it goes down and it's 5. Do I have to roll too? Yep. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to roll. Okay. Eight. All right. We have one monster. Uh, so she's going to draw that. And the Q is going to go on top. Ooh, the deep one. He has a for two stamina. He has a range of three for an attack with three black dice. Oh mm. lord! Why? When he hits. That before. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Would have been so beautiful. When hits. Cone six, increase monster threat. That cold ain't the weather. That's <laughs> death approaching. <laughs> Come on, it's it's the monster from the Black Lagoon. Yes, it is. That um, is exactly what it is. So I don't know what yeah. the what the um, what does that one. cone the six in the cone mean? So if he hits with that, when hits. Set. Oh wait a minute, that's that's uh, that's this. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I believe that's going to end up being the monster threat, which is that... Well, it, only if he hits, then then that... Basically, uh, if he hits, he spawns more monsters, potentially. Oh. I think. That, that probably makes sense. Um, let me check. Because <laughs> I think... I believe... Because that the, that's the ten-sided die right there. That's yeah. Okay, the yeah. Yes. Die. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah, um, so it increases monster threat, so... Uh, so. Yep, so yep. it's gonna happen. So it doesn't it doesn't create a spawn, but it'll move the, the thing. it basically automatically slides the, the threat down. Uh, the, 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 well no, when when the when this right here hits six, it's at five. Um but No, no I think no, it's, it's saying no, it's is when, when he hits rolled, comma, there's this. No, I basically it's just saying that the mo- the monster threat is is or er, Oh when he hits you roll the game die. That's oh, okay. Jeez, okay. sorry. So, yeah, so we don't have to worry about it right now. And then, uh, what's his Basi- health? So basically he adds a roll to the mix. If yeah, hits, we keep yeah. on rolling, essentially. Yep. Oh, but only if he hits someone. Right. right. Uh, okay, which is likely, since he's rolling three black dice. My goodness. Yeah. He only has one health, though. So yeah. if you want to stick hard on him. That's the good and thing he's about he's going to spawn. The closest to Ian is actually the one over there. Oh, because he rolled he, it, yeah. He goes to the one that's, yeah. Yeah, because he, yeah. So we got a deep one over there. Mm-hmm. Deep Fun times. <laughs> Um, and then if you want to put him down, since... Oh, his turn hasn't happened yet, I'm yeah. sorry. We do the horror phase next. Okay, so he wants to roll for the horror phase. You and I have to roll well, so. in this seat. 
Uh, we need to roll. Oh yeah, you're in the evil seat. I'm in the evil seat, so no yep. rolling dice for me if I can avoid it. This one's nasty. It's going to happen no matter what because it starts out at four mm. for this particular <laughs> chapter. It changes, right? Uh, chapter chapter. I'm willing to take it, or do you want to try it? I think I'm the one who activated the horror last time. Okay, I'll take the blame this I time. I think I rolled a ten. <laughs> Eight. Oh, wait, he spawned a monster, so this Nine. goes back up. So. This goes back up to seven. Yeah, so none of us would have done well. So. Nope. All right, well, let's see what we get. It's probably not far. Oh, it's a... It's, oh. No. It's going to keep on keeping on for a while. Oh, great. Um, okay, so we shielded our faces. Oh, it says reaching evil, by the way. Uh, we shielded our faces as a strange distortion skewed our vision. We had no idea what this pres presaged. But everything around us altered. Yep, the stalker's right. coming. <laughs> we stood on strange stones, and the walls around us were unfamiliar. Worst of all, however, was the awful realization that monsters appeared to see us clearer now. We could feel their terrible eyes preying on us from every corner, and their reach was extended in an unnatural way. Hmm. Increase monsters range by two. Run He's here. already Run got fast. a range Run of three. Fast. He now has a range of five. Oh boy. Um, since this is still active, I'm going to put this right here so we mm -hmm. know. Um, but that is horrifying. And I think it's out until the... We clear the chapter. Well, I'm not... Is it until we clear the chapter? With, well, I know it's some last, of our stuff is... The, it's a that's lasting effect. That's true. Yep. Lasting mm -hmm. effects. Our, our lasting effects typically the only last until our next turn, though. Yeah, because they're not truly lasting effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it says, uh, I forget what it says, but... Mine says this round, so it's only yeah. good till... Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right, now the monster gets to attack. The first mm -hmm. thing we need to know is, can he use his ability from where he is? Because if he can, he will. Well, that's the thing. His he attack, can. he now has, he now has a range of, sorry, he has a range. For two stamina, he has a range of three normally, so now he has a range of five. One, um, he... Doesn't have the dots. If so he doesn't have line of sight, he has to move. So and he doesn't have line of sight. He, well, he has line of sight, but the workbench is in the way. So well, if it's center to center, he doesn't because there's a there's that wall there. Yeah, if it passes oh, through the middle, then right? Yeah, if it passes through the middle. He's not quite on the right diagonal to be able to right. pull it off like I was. Right. So, but I mean, he can move one. Right, and then and still see. and then be within as long as, but he doesn't have the dots, so. Doesn't the workbench, isn't that an obstacle? The workbench is an obstacle, yes. Yes, because he doesn't have the dots. So he cannot reach you from there, so he has to move two. Um, because he's got a five, so he just moved two. So he's got, a, he's got three left. So is that still an obstacle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's still going through it to get to you. Yeah. So he, but he can go here for three, and then he'll be right on top of you, and he still has two stamina left, and it only takes two stamina for his attack. Yeah. And his attack is three black dice. Yeah, he's going to kill me in one shot. Yeah. Okay, this is what this means. This ongoing events are a little bit different. This still goes to the discard pile. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it out so we know mm -hmm. until we draw the next time. Mm -hmm. It... If it's not ongoing, it only affects the map tile you're on. Explorers that are on the same map tile as that monster. Oh. If it's ongoing, it it's, doesn't matter what tile. Oh. So that's what that means. Same thing with Explorer ongoing effects. Okay. It only affects Explorers that are on the same tile as whoever as that when it was drawn, uh, where it was activated. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not ongoing, I mean, if it's ongoing, it, if, if somebody had moved on to another tile, for example, they all get the benefit. So this will not last forever. This will only last this turn until the next horror event. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well, so we weren't. I don't think you were doing that right last time. No, either. it's chapter events that go until the whole chapter, and those uh, are the blue ones. Okay. Yep. So I was looking at that, and I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense because eventually it's going to get covered up because it always tells you to discard them. Right. So I was like, hmm, how does that work? So it's only effective until we get another one. And then you move off the tile. Those monsters, if they're over here. Mm -hmm. Oh my Jesus! Wow. 
I only you, have four health. I, well, no, but you blocked. You block. You only blocked two. Two. I'm dead. What? Look, then, yeah. Ben, I'm at zero. Yeah. I'm dead. He's not adjacent to you? No. <gasps> oh my god. That no, if I, had, if I had moved here, he would have been. Oh, if I had moved man. one more, if I had moved diagonal instead of straight. <laughs> I almost moved diagonal instead of straight. Cause I think you're, I not out of game. Time. you're not out of the game until we're out of explorers. Hmm. It's just but. you suddenly become someone else. Um, <laughs> wow. That is painful. All right, let's give him a quick check to see. Does it, can it still move? Because if it can, it's going to start moving to one, towards one of us. No, that was, all, that that was, was all absolutely all of his stamina. Okay. Uh, but he hit, so he gets a roll on the... Yeah. So it rolls for threat. Oh, shoot. You increase the this. monster threat. There we go. Is it increase or decrease? Increase. Oh, monster threat, you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Increase yeah. monster threat. I got a three. Okay. So he can go to attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Let's damage that second, because we're going to reset in a sec. Mm hmm Let me choose, and I'll just take the dead lady. No. Totally well, not. you can put her, but just put the card out of the way. Yeah, so I was just going to leave her in the... <laughs> I think when somebody dies, those other things happen to us. Oh. Um, yeah, everybody has to discard an item, don't they? Uh, nope, but I or think we thing. end up with more threat. Um, let's see. Uh, choose an destroyed explorer for the reason blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, and you get to keep the items. Like, you didn't take any items yet, but if you had, you get to keep the items from the previous person. Um... It's next round, and he gets to place his token, which is fine because, um, uh, we're at the end of the round, so that'll be easy. Oh, it doesn't say that we have to deal with any extra nastiness. It just removes the character and mm -hmm. creates an inconvenience for the player, especially if you really like that character, which I think you did, so I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm holding memorial service. You can play Talk That Lady. I forgot her name. I almost picked her, but I wanted to play my little waif. Yeah. <laughs> um, or you can play the Borg. Dude, he looks like a Borg. Yeah, a, Borg. <laughs> a lot of them do. I mean, it's, they all have the like, goggles or something. They seem to think that goggles equals steampunk. Well, they like all have them. When if you look at steampunk cosplay, that's not necessarily inaccurate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, Lavinia did dreams of lots of death. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is true. Apparently starting with hers on her first... Right? Like, like how is she going to know mm -hmm. she's going to dream about her own death by a deep one? Blue Comet, I guess, meant blue swampy guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If you're torn between one or two, trust me, you'll have a chance to play the other one. See, next, next <laughs> time... I'm aware I'll be a chance to play the other one. Next time, I will move last, so that... Because if that I had, if I had known he was going to be there, he was yep. going to end there, I would have moved differently so that I would have ended up just adjacent to him, just in case. That makes sense. Because I wouldn't have been adjacent to you, and it wouldn't have made any difference to me. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the character. This is good. I'm good. Okay, you gotta tell us This, this is appropriate. Is. So, um... <laughs> Carrie Pelong, she's a gunman. Well, before you, don't place him yet. Um, no, you can't. And a demure, charming courtesan ever since she was old enough to be trained as one, Carrie learned early on how to protect herself from stevedores and sailors who frequented the dockside establishment where she worked. Oh, well. Unfortunately, one night she defended herself against a friend of the family and lost her employment. <laughs> Denied the only trade she was familiar with, she left her. Uh, she felt her life held little meaning. Her luck changed half her, after a chance encounter in a tavern. A minor official, taken with her charm, employed her as his concubine. But one day, cultists from the House of Bliss attacked her employer. She ultimately couldn't save him, but killed five of his assailants before they, were mortally, before they mortally wounded him and fled. Word of her skill and courage reached the expedition, and she was invited to join, an opportunity she accepted, wanting to escape the bad memories. I'm sorry. Just, she's got the lovely veil and the yep, thing. And, the and quite frankly, I do well with prostitutes in games. So, um... <laughs> That's true! <laughs> I mean, Every board game we've had, they have the option to play as a prostitute. You've done really well. Slut ride. All right. Anyway, um, so, uh, right. so we reset the round because we the monster phases happened. So mm -hmm. 
Uh, first, we stand our people up because we're gonna. Um, we get to take any number of our tokens back. So Ian, you can take yours back too. Oh, every round. Can yeah, at the start. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Now, granted, there are instances where you may want to leave a token. Right. Oh. Um, but we get to. This is why. Like, you could literally you can camp a treasure chest for a period of time if you want. Yeah. The essence. Um, but that means other people have to move around you because uh -huh. that's why the token you place it so that the same people don't camp the same right. stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, so that makes it a lot. It does. Yeah. It, if we had known that last time, we would have gotten a lot further than we did. Yeah. Um, now, Ian has the choice of placing his character on one of the two entrance squares mm -hmm. or any square adjacent to those entrance squares. I don't think you want to be over here. Not I would suggest like over here, as far away. From so the is there a is it, no? Actually, is there okay. a space that I can be at where I can yeah. do a range attack? And right, if I'm right here, I'm next to a wall and can shoot him. Right? Yes. Well, I mean, even from here, you can. No, nope, but I, I need to be next to a wall. Oh, so right you need to be yep. next to Oh, because of the ability. Yep. When next to a wall, my range attack rolls are increased by one. Ooh. Ah, nice. So, so I think there's gonna be some. Cause, yeah, because that's an open door. <laughs> you, she was friends with the gypsy lady. Yeah, it's like the gypsy lady said, "I can kill you." There you go. <laughs> awesome. What? Lavinia's not dead. <laughs> she just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> so now those of us who had spent our stamina gets to go back up to your max level, mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously your essence stays where it is. Mm -hmm. Wherever it was. So who wants to go first? Do you want to go first this time? Oh, yeah, because he doesn't get it. He doesn't have essence anymore, right? Uh, well, he, he didn't get it. He did the event. Yeah, um, and it ended so, yeah. up being so the way this works is that I, whatever I roll on this, is at, one is added to it, correct? Uh, I need to read the card so yeah. I can see. Yeah, when next to a wall, range attacks are increased by one. Uh, range attack rolls are increased by one. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a square around the one, so it's not like one extra die. It's just a one. Um. Yeah, but it says the attack is increased, not the result. Well, that's the attack. The attack rolls. This is, I mean, it's all... Oh, it's okay. Fine. Then, yes. So, one, two. So, two, which I don't think actually will hurt him. What type of attack are you doing? Range. Yeah, but is it, uh, is it... It's, a, it's just a regular attack. Or a, it's okay. a regular attack. So you use his armor. Yeah, no. He has a three. Uh, he has a three? I can't hurt him. Even with the bonus. Yeah, that's why I was I was about to say, do you really that want to do that? Because you can't, broke, you can't hit him. Broken. He's got a three... He's got a three... Yeah, he's I got a three armor. Not. So yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, we'll we'll mull I mean, that. literally, I can't. It's tough at the beginning. Well, that's the thing. Okay, my attack will will reduce armor for the round. Now, what? How long is the round? Is that until my turn comes back around? Yes. Okay. Or I mean, I just want to make sure round is not turn. Yes. Because that's two different words. So if we want, since. So we can have you move first, do your attack, and then he can do his, and then if it's still alive, I'm moving to his attack. Right, because I can move, lower his armor by one. That will make it a two, so you can potentially roll a two plus one is three and actually hit him. Mm -hmm. I can't hit him, because I'm, actually, mm -hmm. if I, I use do. this, I could. <laughs> well, so, so here's the thing. There's you the... do your attack and you reduce his armor by one. Mm-hmm. I get, uh, from where I am, I get potentially three shots. Yep. Yes. So, that's three chances. And if he's still alive, him. I should have enough stamina to be able to move there mm -hmm. and finish him off, hopefully. Because yeah. I can do... And either way... A black die and a white die. So and either way, he literally cannot one-shot my character. The only, like, I literally, he killed the one person he could one-shot. Yep. That... Because he can't roll higher than what he rolled to kill me. This is the last round. So I will literally have one health no matter what. Okay. So I, I think that's... A, oh, he has yes, three. He so, <laughs> but that's a, there's also blanks, so... Right. Now, the thing is, I could, I could attack from there mm -hmm. with my ranged attack, mm -hmm. which actually gives me two die, including a black. Mm -hmm. Or I could close. I mean, I don't mind closing. Well, here's the thing. Do you really want to throw the axe at our first mob when you know if you close, throw, and then I get three shots potentially yeah. to take him out? Because all I have to do is hit him once and he's done. And if you close, that gives so. us the bonus of your armor. Well, it will give him, her the bonus. That's fine, but yeah. if I have to move, I'll be moving in range with you, so yeah. I'll have armor too. Mm -hmm. okay. well, so I think, I think it's a good idea. Okay. Right. And then if it gets killed, he could potentially move in and use the mm -hmm. workbench, or mm -hmm. he could right. use the... Right. thing or you can move around and use the, the treasure chest it gives mm -hmm. you lots more options that way exactly all right so i can i move one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now for two more 
I can roll my attack D. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, now that's the question. It says max of two. Right, so you can, can you I do roll, Can I attacks. do this twice? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you have to attack him twice, but mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah, it's good. Okay. But I'm just like, do I... Yeah, do I have mm -hmm. max Yeah, you absolutely control? can. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will do that. So he's lowered by one right now. He's lowered by one. So he has a two, two which does not and I hit him for one, which mm -hmm. means nothing happens. All right, but if you attack him again, but I can attack again with two. Now he has a so, one. So now yeah. he has. We can a use one. the die and just change it to a one, so we know, like one of the dice. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but he, it's just. But so this is. Just, I'm just saying that his he's range, because he's got the range plus. So I right, but I'm just it. saying if we use that, so we can keep track of, mm -hmm. so we don't mm -hmm. have to think about it. Right. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> what, I, I mean, if we had if we had more of these, that'd be nice. So that that's like right now he has. Yeah. So he only has one of his three defense. That's fine. Yeah. That works. That works. <sighs> Seriously? But he still only okay. has one defense, so yeah. yes. you could potentially pew 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 him to death mm -hmm. with a fan. Um, so. and I, I, <laughs> well, I've got my gun hiding behind. Oh, okay. okay. Now, the question is, though, <laughs> technically, I still have mm -hmm. one yep. mm -hmm. stamina left. Do you want to move over a little bit? Is that what you might want to do? Well, that's the thing. Do I want to move? You're in range regardless. If you do, you're so. adjacent potentially to... Well, you're adjacent well, to if I move... If, I, if I go her. here, I'd still be adjacent to her. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't... Actually, no, I can't move. I, well, I don't think it matters. I, don't think, I think I don't have to stay within range. Do I have mm -hmm. to stay within range? I don't think I do. Oh, well, I'll just... Well, on the bright side, if you stay where you are and the monster survives, it will attack you. So do you Yeah, have, so, so you have to be, you have to be to adjacent it. to me to give me the extra armor. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but I mean, if I move the one, I'd still be adjacent mm -hmm. to you, so it wouldn't matter. Yep. And right. she could move in, if she has to move in to close, then she'd still then be in space to do right. that. Because you could be in this space and be adjacent, and we'd yeah. still be all together. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I have a three armor mm -hmm. and five health, and you have only two armor. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I'll stay there that, well, okay. I, yeah, because if you stay where you are, right now you're the closest to the monster, right. so if it survives, it will attack you and right. you can absorb that. Yeah, because okay. if I move, then technically we'd be the same distance and she would, would be weaker. weaker. So yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. We'll stay there. All right. Well, actually, we'd be even because you would have a three. <laughs> All right. So then we no. get to choose who, yeah. who deals with it. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, Deep one is dead. Which does get, that you get a, essence. You get an right? essence. Yes. Yeah. Because the deep one is dead. Okay. So the, the deep, deep one, one can dead. come back. Long live the deep one. Um, the deep the one can come back. Right here. Okay. Yeah, he can come back. <laughs> the deep one can come back. Okay, next um, time. Can I? I can't <laughs> activate the treasure chest behind me from our yes, hand. Can. can I? Uh, not through the oh. wall. Oh, that is, a, the, that is a little, yeah. But I could move one and do it. You have to move two. Well, this is an open, door. an open door. Oh, there's no wall on the other side? Okay, then yes. Yeah, so you can go there. Yep. Sorry, so I thought there was a wall there. That was two, and then a move two. for three. And then three to activate. And then the three to activate. Do that. Which will give me another essence. Two thingies. And uh -huh. I will get two item here. That's one. Uno. And two. Ooh, spinny. Very spinny. <laughs> Glad I didn't sleeve these. It would be even worse. I don't think you can sleeve A technical these. manual, I think you may have bought. <laughs> I did get a tactical manual. <laughs> the other thing I got is a heavy javelin. Ooh. The heavy javelin is a melee attack three white dice. Wow. Um, for two stamina. Or I can throw it up to three spaces. It has the same returning thing. It has, a, it has the same I drop it to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have the returning ability. Um, it's two stamina. I can throw it to three away. If I do, two black dice, two white dice, and I push it one space. Dang! Yeah. That's nice. I think I'm taking the javelin. I, um, but I, but the tactical manual is still good, so I'm actually still going to put it back on top. Yeah, unless anyone cool. There's okay. nothing wrong with that. Okay. Alright. Um, I will... Oh, okay, we have to put an explore token mm. on the treasure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, sorry. Here you go. And you gain an essence. I did. did you do yeah. that? So okay. I have two. Good, good, good. Um, I'm going to activate the treasure chest. I'm going to put the explore token first so I don't forget. Uh, mostly for the essence. Yeah. Is there... The ship. I mean, is your turn actually done when your turn is done or when you actually have no stamina? Technically when you're done, when you pass. Okay. 
Force alternator? Or a technical manual. A technical manual. <laughs> this is a weird, look at this. It's like mm -hmm. three, three, three. Two, three, three. Oh my god, that's like, what is that? It's like the the harpoon, but attached to like a, a it's like a harpoon gun. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. So, I can, I don't know why it has two, okay, so it's three stamina, oh, it's two different attack, okay, now that yeah. makes sense. Okay, because I'm like, why is this like this? Because you have two different ways um, of attacking. All right, I thought it was all one attack, just a little mm -hmm. big description. Yep. So, uh, if I do one attack, I increase armor and will by one this round max two. Hmm. Um, it doesn't say everybody's, it just says mine. Right. But, um, and then... I can also choose to, oh, wait a minute. It's got a range. I can increase somebody, I can do it to you guys. That's why. Because I'm like, why would I oh, range? Oh, it's not an me? attack. It's literally, that, so it's, it's just, I'm like, oh! Yeah. So you can either increase armor and will by one or, 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 or decrease. I point my you and you get stuff. Oh, so you can either debuff or buff, you can either yeah. debuff an enemy or buff us, or you have an arcane attack with a, it's basically a magic staff. Careful of the camera. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, he didn't hit it. Force alternator. We're gonna yeah. save the book. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's now, cool. these are one-handed weapons, so I can use them both. Uh, my my hands are full now. Oh crap! Didn't what? we have to equip them, don't we? Oh shit! Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, so this is not equipped yet. Yeah. So I couldn't actually. You didn't though. You didn't. You never oh right! That. I never you did. Use we, it. we talked about it. Good. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. How much does it cost? You put to them like this. Them? It's three. Three. Okay. Yeah. And that will let you equip any number of things. Okay. So, huh. one, two. Why am I down this much? I should only be here. Oh yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah. Because you use three to activate. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stuck in the same place, but I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. Shoot. Yeah. Game is very complex. Those of you who are watching, it does take a bit to wrap your head around it, but it's really a cool game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, it's uh, playing board games okay. with those dance, which was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Thank you. They're a cool. Um, uh, I think they're a Canadian group, mm -hmm. and they a lot of times I think they run a show kind of similar time frames than we are. They have a Saturday mm -hmm. show, but they also do. Like during the week, they do th at least three a week. They do way more than we do. Uh, they do at least three a week, and they also do a marathons quite often. They oh, do nice. twelve-hour marathons quite often. So of... more than like the one we're going to do in July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they they also do extra life. They do extra life mm -hmm. as well. If I'm thinking of the same group, I'm going to have to check my um, who I'm following, but I think it's the group I'm thinking of. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but they yeah they do extra life. They they did a really great job with their extra life campaign hmm. last year. It was the folks I'm thinking of. Uh, so, oh, everybody went. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, we're all down. Who do you want to start with? Well, I went first, so okay. Oh yeah, we'll do it that way. Ten. Okay, so monster spawns in the queue. That's fun. Ooh, it's a moon beast. That sounds fun. Yes, it has an attack that has no range, luckily. That is two and two. And it oh this is the this is the one that actually spawned before, um, and it has a range three attack of pull two spaces. When next to a wall, it is ethereal. Great. <laughs> That's great. So I'm here. Yep, so it's gonna pop one, over there. One two three four. One two three four. You're literally equidistance from both. Uh -huh. <laughs> one two three four. One, so you get to pick two, which side three, then. Three, four. Yep, you get to pick which side then. You literally went center of the map. That's funny. I didn't realize you did. That's funny. Well, it's not. It's because this is one in. That's true. If it was on the edge, then it was I've, just funny. <laughs> yes, but if I get to choose, it's going to be coming after me. Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys can attack from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With here, your insane you weapons, because you went second. Does that move? Nope. Six. Because it, it, oh, it, it went, stays. but we yep, got now one. because he rolled over. Now it does. Mm -hmm. And then if I spawn when it goes back, it resets. Mm -hmm. Six. No, we spawn one. Mm -hmm. I spawn one. I mean, so it's the exact. It's equal to yeah, equal to or higher. Okay. So it's yep. Unfortunately. So second monster. Ooh, Yadathan. That doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty bad, actually. Mm -hmm. He's going to spawn over here because yep, that's what you are. Mm -hmm. yep. um, he, for two stamina, has a range three all 
attack. Jeez. Uh, unfortunately. It's an arcane attack of three. It's white, at least. Mm. It's just three white. That's not too bad. When he dies, the attacker gains treasure. When he's the only monster, he is ethereal. Luckily, he's not, so we have mm -hmm. more monsters. Wow. Well, um, horrible. Is defense. One and one for health, and he only has a two health. Uh, a two, two defense. defense. Uh, but the moon beast though? has a four. Um, he has a four willpower. So the moon beast only has a three. Attack. You only have one health, though, right? They all have one health. Good. The oh, level shoot. one ones only have one health. You know what? Technically, I should have been able to do more stuff. Oh. Because I could equip an item for... Oh, I would have only had one stamina. Never mind. Because I can, when I gain treasure, I can equip it for one stamina. Mm -hmm. yeah. That wouldn't have mattered. You would still would have had to use one to get the other mm -hmm. the other piece equipped anyway, if you did that. Well, no, because I gained them on two different terms, technically. Oh, no, yeah, it would have mattered. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. I'll just have to remember that I have that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't have had to waste three. Okay, now. Although, the one thing, thing I is, I, I'm going to stand people up because it'll be easier to see. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we can see walls and stuff. That's fine. So he, his attack is actually um, obstacle free because he's got the little the little things, right? He ignores obstacles but not walls. Okay. Um, All right. So this is this is an obstacle, mm -hmm. but it's not so a wall. So I think you are closer. Because yeah. I think no you have that's what the light has done. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's that's falling off on me. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. With that, I think that means he's going to go after you because this mm -hmm. uh, this is not an obstacle to him. But but is there a wall? Yeah. Oh, there, there's no wall. But not but because of the diagonal. Because of the diagonal, totally they're protecting me. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So th that's a that's, that's a distance of two. So he can Should use be with all three of the white dice. Yeah. With all three. Um, do you want to roll back? Did you summon him? And I rolled twos last time. Okay. So he has five stamina, so he's going to use two of that five to, to do me. this attack. All right. He's going to keep on doing it. You're aware right. of this, right? That's, that's why I, yeah. I'm going to use stamina. Track of it. Okay. Really? So... That's... Um, you have extra okay, armor. I have, I have against... three armor, so it only does but one. But that's armor. It's an arcane attack. Oh, God. It goes by your willpower. Uh, two. Two. So you I block take two. two and you take two, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna do it one more time, right? And he, he still has, has so you can, yeah, he still has. Come on, Blake. I rolled blanks. three twos, so you know. <laughs> but still, mm -hmm. all right. And he only he has one stamina left. Does he move? Yes, he will, because they always will spend their stamina, so he'll move closer okay. to. Who is the closest person? Which so, is you. Thank God. <laughs> okay.